here I am, the Tanya from Titania's realm, in her other sacred space named the Ain Sof. Well, that's what the number plate equates to, which is weird, but this is my, my car, which I inherited after a long, ugly, drawn out fight, which took two and a half years and um, brought me to the brink of suicide a few times. So um, I'm sitting in my car, done a little bit of shopping. I've been to my psych. Oh, I must show you. I bought this for my little, my little girls that live down the road because they keep asking me if I'm a real witch and um, wanting me to bring out my cauldron, which I do bring it out every Halloween. And then we got talking about it and they said they'd like a cauldron of their own. So I bought them one of each. They're actually mug, mugs for mug, mug cake. Yeah, mug cake. So very excited about that. Um, the sweet little girls, and um, they're not poor little girls. They come from a wealthy family. But anyway, they're my little friends, and I wanted to spoil them a bit. So I'm happy about that. Um, let me just say... Uh, Oh yes, that's what I wanted to say. I'm sitting in my, my sacred space, my chariot of fire, my gas gas. I've got the, the gas still going actually. I must turn it off, stop wasting petrol. Petrol's very expensive at the moment. And I'm waiting for the clock to tick over because I'm going to a play. A No, not a play. A poetry reading that came up on my Facebook this morning. And I thought, that's something interesting to do. I might actually go and do that. But it doesn't start till six o'clock. But I'm, I've literally come from the shops and prior to that from my debrief with my psychiatrist, right? More shiny in the sunshine. Oh my goodness. And um, anyway, so he, he agreed with me that what I did when I um, went home with that gentleman I met at Garden City straight after being almost slammed by a truck he said you were in a fugue state and you did a risk taking thing and went home with a man and he was quite freaked out about it and I went but isn't it what I do isn't it what I do doctor when I'm faced with impending death I just rebel and I do something even more risky because why not if you're gonna go go out in a blaze of glory but not literally. I don't want to be going out in any blazes, any fire or explosions. That would not be nice. Um, I'm very fussy about all the methods <laughs> that, I, that I, um, I hope to die in. I hope they're gentle and peaceful and not being slammed by a truck or any blazes of glory of any kind. You do have to be careful what language you use. The words you use form your personality and your identity and sometimes are a little bit prophetic prophetic if not pathetic so my doctor was quite pleased when I said I've chosen quite randomly to go to a poetry reading and he said oh he said well you are a wordsmith and he said I just do hope that they won't be all elitist and condescending and nasty and I said yes I can't abide elitist condescending nasty people because I was raised by them and they're, they're, they're horrible vapid empty people bullies usually and just ugh. so he's worried that I'll get triggered by you know people that are elitist condescending and nasty but I somehow don't think so I think it'll just be you know it's it's two poets one one gentleman's just published a book of poetry and they teach poetry at the university so I thought well if, any, if nothing else at least I'll be sitting with people that have actually got you know a little bit of a, a bohemian vibe and are into um wordsmithing and poetry and you know art so uh, I'm nervous as hell can you tell <laughs> I'm nervous as hell oh, I have to put my air conditioning back on um petrol or no petrol I'm nervous so it's 4.06pm 4, 4 and the thing doesn't start till 6 but I thought oh, it's probably more realistic to come straight here and then just look around the shops and have a coffee and just chill out and relax and then go like very chilled and you know um, you know relaxed to the um, poetry reading which although I'm nervous as hell I'm actually looking forward to you never know. I might, I might meet meet some interesting people. At least the um the uh the subject matter might be interesting. 
so um yes and then friday i'm planning on going dancing um because my favorite band um who used to play at that that previous dance spot of mine that shall not be named because they're just crud and not worthy of my attention but anyway that my, my favorite band used to come to play there once a month well they're playing at um brooklyn standard so i'm going to go there and see them play there which brooklyn standard can be a very packed and busy club so um hopefully i'll be fine last time i was there some very gorgeous I'm thinking gay, but a very gorgeous young man did a strip tease in front of me and was very evocative and um, very risque. And uh, it ended up with him throwing himself at my feet and me pointing my leather studded boots, the tip of the toe, on his chest. But only jokingly, like I didn't actually press down hard or anything. But even he looked at me, his eyes went really wide because he thought I was going to kick him or something. Anyway, it was hilarious, and the security guard came out and just sort of looked at me and went, and I went, <laughs> and the stripper guy got up and went, and everything was sweet, right? But it was just one of those mad moments that you have when people ham up in front of me, and I play along because I'm a ham too. So it was hilarious, but I, I will be endeavouring to behave myself when I go to the Brooklyn Standard I think it's is it Friday or Saturday. I have to check. Anyway, I will be, I'll be, will be on my best behaviour because, uh, you know, the Brisbane music scene, you know, um, will it turn toxic at the casino and it turned toxic years ago at Irish Murphy's. So I don't want to be driven out of every fucking club. I mean, it's not like I'm a member of any of these clubs. I was a member of the Star Club at the casino, but you know. It's the old saying, I don't like to be belong to any club that will have me as a member, is really, I don't want to be kicked out of every freaking club I see because I don't pop my cork for every man I see because that's discrimination and I may set you in on the spectrum and, you know, the, on the, on, not on the spectrum, but on the, um, you know, I, I represent on, on the um, LGBTIQ plus plus spectrum i am the plus 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 complex ptsd asexual celibate who likes to go dancing wildly and have fun but i don't want to hook up you know and because i don't want to hook up with anybody they eventually get vicious and asshole me out of the place well you know excuse me but you know my body my rules very fussy about who i invite into my body these days have been quite fussy about it for the last eight years since the last idiot broke my heart it was awful I mean, I've, how many sadists can one woman endure? And why should I have to entertain them with my bits? It's just rude. Anyway, on that note, I'm off, <laughs> I'm off to a poetry reading because I think that might be a little bit more genteel and bohemian, a rhapsody and polite, right? So there is that. It's getting very busy. There's a lot of cars coming up this little tiny road here. She's making me feel quite nervous. Oh well, I'm going to get out now and have my walk around the shops and maybe have a cup of tea. And I've got two hours before the thingy starts. I've got two hours to find something to do. Um, have a beautiful day, people. Good afternoon from Titania's Realm and so Sacred Space. Saying it very furtively because I feel like there's one. A lot of cars around. It's quite intimidating where I'm parked. I'm legally parked. i just got to go and pay. That's the only thing. Anywho. All good. Having a lovely day. Holding on to what's left of my sanity. And the crumbling Western civilization zombie apocalypse. I'm relieved I didn't get written off or almost written off by any trucks on my way out of the site today. But that is an incredibly busy road. Actually, just as I was driving out, there was another massive truck. And I was just like, I'm just going to wait till you're gone and all the cars are gone because I'm scared of you all now. I'm really losing my confidence driving. They're all maniacs. It's actually quite terrifying. But anyway, goodbye from Sacred Space. I'm off like Goff. I'm off on a new adventure. Being a bohemian wordsmith. Uh, participant listening to their lovely talks. Okay, bye for now. <laughs>